Hey, what's going on guys? This is Adam from GHL Mastery. I've got a really cool one for you today on documents and contracts. So stick with me, here's the concept. You have a customer go through a sales funnel and then after they order through the sales funnel, they can click a button on the next page and automatically open up a pre-filled, ready to rock and roll contract for your prospects to fill out and sign. So stick with me, we're gonna dive right into it. And as always, if you find this video or this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe as it helps a lot more people see what we're doing and learn more about the high level platform. So without further ado, let's get right into it and show you how the system works. And then I'm gonna show you exactly how you can build it for yourself. So first of all, we gotta start with an order form. So we're gonna just put in some sample information here. I'll put in my email address like so, and we're gonna to go to step two. So this could be anything. This could be an order form for your SaaS. This could be an order form for a customer. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Any type of order form with any type of product. I've got the test product in here right now. We're gonna put in the credit card information, the good old 424242 for test mode, and we're gonna hit complete order. Now what this is gonna do, it's gonna to go to the next page. Don't worry about the aesthetics of the page. I didn't really feel like I wanted to spend too much time on it. Now here, we've got a button to click here to view and sign the contract. So when I click this button, it's gonna load and it is going to open up the contract. This is our sample contract that we use for everything and everybody's information is in there and it's ready to go, ready to sign. So that's what we're building here. I'm gonna show you guys step by step exactly how you can build this yourself. So. I'm gonna close this out and we are gonna start here in custom fields. So all I did was I created a contract URL custom field that we could use in our form as a redirect URL. So that is step number one. You've gotta create this contract URL step right here. And now we're gonna go move this out of the way over here, there we go. We're gonna go back into sites and we're gonna go into forms and I've got this contract forms folder right here we are gonna do a view contract form. Now obviously from an aesthetics purpose, you could actually just change this so that it's not a white background. You can change it to a clear background so it just blends in with your page a little bit. But you'll notice the only thing that I have on this form right now is an email field and that is a hidden email field because we don't want them to see it. We just want it to look like it's a button on the page here. So email field is all you need, make it hidden. And then the other things that you're gonna to wanna to do here is you're gonna to go to your options, you're on submit, you're gonna open URL and you're gonna to go to that custom field that you created right here. And then the other thing that you wanna have turned on is sticky contact um, so that it passes the email information from the order form onto this hidden little form right here. Okay, so that's the aesthetics basic setup. So now let's get into the back end workflow setup and you're gonna be mind blown at actually how simple this is and how many different use cases you can use this in. So let's go back out of here and let's go to automations. We're gonna go find our contracts folder. Here is the contracts folder right here. Contracts, so we've got step number one, order form submitted, send contract. So again, super super simple. We're just doing an order form submitted trigger with that global product through an order form and in this specific funnel. And then all we're doing as an action is we're gonna send the template, we're gonna send it from this user and we're gonna send this specific template from the documents and contracts system. And if you're not exactly sure how to do this, um, stay tuned to my channel because I'm gonna do a full breakdown and walkthrough of how to use proposals and documents. Um, I think they call them documents and contracts now, but how to use them from start to finish. So if you don't know how to do this, stay tuned on my channel, we'll have that one out shortly. All right, so this is workflow number one, order submitted, send the contract. Workflow number two is very, very simple. All we're doing is we're gonna have a trigger that says when this document or contract status changes to sent, update, a, update that contact custom field with the document URL. Now. If you're not really sure why I'm doing this and hey, why don't I just send the document.url in the form redirect instead of using the custom field, the reason that you cannot do that is because when you add a trigger like this that is specific to documents and contracts, that 
trigger and the custom details and information that come from that trigger are only actually available in the workflow itself or in the email template that you create and you assign to the contracts and proposals. So what we needed to do is we needed to create a way that we could pull out the document URL from this workflow and assign it to an external system. So that's what we're doing here. And I'm gonna show you guys really quick as an example. So I'm just gonna open up an SMS field here. And again, because our trigger is documents and contracts, we now have additional custom value information that we can pull from down here called documents and contracts. If this trigger wasn't here, we wouldn't have access to this. So we have to use this trigger in order to update this field. Now here's all the things that you can get from there, right? You've got the name, you've got the total amount, the type of contract or document it is, and the document URL, which is what we needed in this particular use case, is this doc URL right here. So that's all we did, and we updated this custom field with the document URL. And guys, that's all there is to this one. It's actually super, super simple to do this. Now let's go into the funnel as the last step here just to show you what we've done. And really there's not a lot to this one either because we've already kind of laid the groundwork. We've laid the foundation using the forms and the custom fields. So all you gotta do is a, st a typical standard order form like this. And all we're gonna do is on sale action, go to next step. That's it, that's all, go to next step. Now on the next step, the thank you page, all we've got to do on this page here is actually just load in that form that has the hidden email field so it effectively, it just looks like a button. Um, and again, you can change your form layout so that the background is transparent so that you don't actually see this white box. All it is is a button. And again, this button, we're gonna set this up to use the action from the form builder so that when this page loads, it's gonna automatically send you to the document URL for that contact custom field. And that's all there is to it. If you guys find this video helpful and you guys want to learn how to do some sort of custom ninja tricks inside the high level ecosystem, I would highly recommend that you join our program, GHL Mastery, which you'll find the links down below in the description. We do five coaching calls every single week for two hours a day to help you not only learn how to do this type of stuff, but we also help you inside your system as well as have a our very own support ticketing system that can help you replace the high level support system. Um, and not only that, but obviously if you're opening tickets with us, you're getting on the calls with us, you're gonna get all the help you need and more through the GHL Mastery program. So the link is in the description below if you need help, want help, or are ready to scale. And I also don't know if I mentioned, but if you're on our Platinum subscription, we offer white label done for you builds completely included in your GHL Platinum membership so that you can focus on selling and we focus on developing for you. So with that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.